I hoped I was leaving trouble behind. But little did I know. Let me start from the beginning. А совсем уезжаешь? В такую даль? Как ты там будешь? Посмотрим. Скажи честно, не страшно начинать новую жизнь? Конечно, страшно. Сколько будем лететь? 13 часов. Вас разбудить к обеду. I have a work permit if that's what you're worried about. We're not worried about your legal status. Usually if we have crimes committed by Russians, we call on our own translators. I still think that Russian detective could be helpful. Look, M Mr. Somov, my advice to you is bone up on your English. Improve your English. And I'll, I'll talk to my superiors, see if we uh, really have need of an outside consultant. It was nice meeting. Thank you. No, let's go, you moron! You can go, can't you see? I'm asking you one more time, you're gonna turn around or what? Slide. Stupid immigrant, man. You know you're not afraid, huh? I'll remember you, you see, we'll meet up again. Я могу подвозить продукты, быть осветителем. What do you have in there? In your envelope? Uh, photos of him to show no. my family back home. Oh, that's great. That's great. A beautiful dog. Stay, stay, stay. Mark! Wait! Who that is? Mark! Извините, uh, sir. Uh, are you from Moscow? Moscow? Yeah. Sorry, my dog's from Moscow. I thought maybe you knew him. He's usually not so good with strangers. Well, animals are much more sensitive than people. He just picked up my frequency. You go around sending out frequencies? <laughs> Flying mouse? <laughs> <laughs> we call them bats in this country. Now I have some advice for you. I want you to brush up on your English if you expect to get a decent job in America. What? Have you ever seen a sonic wave? No. Would you ever like to see one? I never thought about it. Well, I've been to the other side twice, clinically dead. And I was surrounded by angels of provinciality, which gave me information that presidents and czars can't even spell. Very special place. There's a bomb in that office. What? What bomb? Mother? So someone quick. I'm on the corner of 3rd and Central. He 
Excuse me. This may seem like a silly question, but I need to know the contents of what's in that envelope. Gotcha. Hey, what's going on? Please, I need to know what's in the envelope, man. It's none of your business. Chief, it was just a hunch you couldn't have known. You call that a hunch? That's why you're still sergeant and I'm still your boss. People die on hunches. Zone to five. Probably headed for the border. You want to continue the pursuit? No, I think it's good that we let him go bomb another building. Yeah, the suspect, he pulled the Dukes of Hazard on us. That's what we got. Here's what I got. Three days ago, the Times got a letter about a corruption scheme in the pharmaceutical business, pushing ineffective drugs onto the market. I'll write this down. The letter said to all department heads of pharmaceutical companies, beware and prepare. The end is coming. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Let's lose the smirks and get the job done. Captain, I, I, uh, I, I think I speak for everybody in the room when I say that none of us question your gifts. We can only imagine what you've been through, knocking on death's door and coming back twice. We're just sort of um, running to catch up here. We, we only have the facts to go with. Nobody taught us how to predict the crime. How about preventing it before it happens? My mother taught me when I was very young never to lose my temper. But she never met you idiots. You are required to prevent the crime. And that's the difference between winning and losing. Tell them I want to invite them to Russian roulette. OK. This is the address. OK, will do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Where's the report on the Broma guy? Who, sir? Broma, the guy who wrote the article. That's the guy that terrorized the Relco building. Well, sir, obviously that name is fake. We don't know that. Go. Go, 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 go. I'm counting on every one of you. Lieutenant? I ran the case files, but I only came up with one Brahm. He ran off with some guy's wife and kid. Filed a report when he couldn't find his daughter. Sounds more like a job for a marriage counselor, not a bomb squad. I still want to take a look at it. OK. Clayton. Yeah. The file. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Boy. OK, what else we got? Well, we recently ran a list of everyone uh, fired from Relco, but known by the name of Brahm, but we're still following up on that. All right, let's see if we can get a list of everybody who didn't make it into work that day. Yeah, I'm running that now. We should have it in a couple minutes. Oh, by the way, Somov stopped by. He wants us to meet him at the Russian Roulette. You want to go? Mac, you know I'm not a gambler. It's not a casino. It's the restaurant he works at. Oh. 
In that case, I'm in. Great. Vente, 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 chiquito. Venga. Talk to you. Come on, mijo. Come on. Come on, mijo. Come on. Да нет. Воды хочешь? Она горячая, мам. Олз. Thank you so much. Потерпи, моя хорошая. Потерпи, мы сейчас скоро приедем. Сеньор Лерри! They got Senor Juan as he was crossing. And now we got this Russian lady and her daughter. Uh, she was gonna go with Senor Juan, but since he got busted, can we help him? See, si. I'll be waiting. Okay. The papa yet. Нет, 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 солнышко мое, это не папа. Here's some mango, senora. They are still green with a little bit of salt and this knife. It is very good. Thank you. This is Senor Larry. He will take you to the border. Hi, how's it going? Hello. And who is this little beauty? Your daughter? Yes. Hi, sweetheart. What's your name? Her name is Lana, and she doesn't speak any English. I bet she understands this. Here you go. Here you go, sweetheart. Спасибо. You're welcome. Have you got any bags? Yeah, there. What's going on? We gotta get going. Where? My ranch, about an hour's drive north. Is it in America? No, it's still in Mexico. So why can't we go just straight to the border? Are you in a hurry to go to jail? The Mexican border is really tight today. I came across earlier. They frisked me head to toe. Want somebody to frisk you? That's not funny. I'm not a comedian. Come on. <clears throat> Did you know Juan well? I hope the price will be the same as what we agreed with Juan. I think you are probably wondering why we are wanting to cross the border, aren't you? No matter what happened to me and Tuliana, but I'm not going to pay any more than we discussed with Juan, okay? Don't worry, the price will be the same. That was great. I'll search for Mr. Bromley. So far, not so good. The only Brom we had in our files fled the country about two years ago. He ran off with a wife and child of some poor guy named Larry McCloskey. Hmm. See, they let you smoke in this place. Go ahead. Smoke yourself to death. Why you quit? I did. I was just asking. It's refreshing to find a restaurant in L.A. that lets you light up. It's a nice place to work, so I would prefer to work some other place. People carry guns and wear badges. 
and greet the people they write instead of their specials. Just Marsh doesn't yet trust you enough to let you carry a badge, much less a gun. So some of your friends like this place? Oh, this place is great. We're having a great time. It's Victor, the owner. Mish, будь любезен, бутылочку Джек Дэниел повторить и корочки черные по нашему. Бить. И корочку я не потянул. Не переживай. Это вообще будущее. А что такое? Мне нужен что ты сидел в Тихуану и закупил кафельных плиток для кухни. Тихуана? А где это? Это в Мексике, недалеко, два часа езды отсюда. А что здесь такая плитка не продается? Во-первых, эту плитку я видел только там. Симпатичные такие с мордочкой койота. Очень необычный. А, Во-вторых, там два раза дешевле. We have kind of a shortage of Russian cases at the moment. Why don't you go, Andre? I have to find somebody who can take care of my dog. I could do that. You gotta go, man. Tijuana's great. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay, Three. gentlemen. <sighs> wow. Enjoy, gentlemen. Wow. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Victor. Have a good time. Nice to meet you. Спасибо. Не беспокойся, все сделаем. I got a toast. To Somov and Sombreros. Mm. I don't stay here much. I'm usually in L.A., but uh, this is home. If I had known things were going to be this way, I would never have gone with you. I'm sure Juan had a different plan. Juan's plan? If Juan had a plan, it started something like this. He gets you across the border and plops some Greyhound bus to Canada. Then in Canada, one of his guys gets you a visa and gets you back in the States legally. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, Rita, I have exactly the same plan. The only difference is, I can make it happen. Juan can't. Anyway, this is your room. And it makes you feel any better, there's a uh, lock on the door. See you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Dougie. Hi, Dougie. Come here. How you doing, buddy? Hey, how about giving Uncle Roy a kiss, huh? Give me a kiss there. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please, he doesn't like the smell of alcohol. Oh, I gotta change that, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, come here, boy. Yeah. Good puppy. What else I gotta know about this guy? You have to feed him twice a day. Once in the morning, before he walk, and second time when you come back home. That's easy enough. Yeah. A lot, a lot easier than deal with my ex-wives, that's for sure. At least I don't have to talk to him. Huh, big guy? Mouth, mouth, when people talk to him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, well, don't worry, I'll talk to him then. You want to listen yeah. to Russian music? Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Me and you, big guy, we're going to be a we were swinging bachelors. That's right. Come over here. Beautiful. Nice looking dog. Hello, uh, Somov Castle, Sergeant McMillan at arms here. Uh huh. Yeah. Must be for you. I don't understand the damn word they're saying. Hello? Hi, Micha. Как дела? Да нет, ну мобильник отключили просто. Слушай, а что в посольстве-то? Там у них совсем с этим строго теперь. И Анька не помогла. Не знаю, нет. На, поговори. Не могу ничего говорить. Алло. Здравствуй, Анют. Дядя Андрей. Не получилось у нас ничего. Ну, не расстраивайся, что-то придумаем. Целую. Сома, I love it when you speak Russian. I think that language is beautiful. As a matter of fact, I am going to make my next wife Russian. Can you help me with that? Sure, why not? What's the matter, something wrong? Kind of. They denied my son and daughter-in-law visas. They deny her because she is pregnant. Well, that's no problem. Just after she has the baby, they can apply again. They already applied. It's twice they did it. Apply a third time. So if you gotta hit these bureaucrats over the head with this stuff. You're a very good man, right? Did I forget to mention this door? Get out. Get out, I'll scream. Scream all you want. 
I got no neighbors and the closest village is 40 miles away. Hi, pumpkin. What do you want from us? I guess what everybody wants. A little respect, a little love. Please, let's talk tomorrow. Lenny's tired. But tell me something. Did you kidnap her? Are you crazy? Why I would kidnap my own daughter? And why are you so desperate to cross the border? Who are you running from? You running from your husband? I just want to live in America. It's the best country in the world. I hate when people lie. And you are lying. I don't lie. Bull. Why do you think I'm lying? I can tell when women lie. My wife, Teresa, she was a liar. She ended up running off with a, a truck driver. So who are you running from? Who are you running from, Rita? I don't have to tell you anything. Believe me, you do. I had to run. If I didn't, I would be dead. Why is that? My husband. What? My husband here embezzled money from a lot of people in Moscow. Дочка, не забывайте помечать мужчина или женщина. Мэл, фемейл. Конечно, я и в компьютер заношу, и в квитанциях отвечаю. Деньги. Да, пожалуйста. Я с женой полечу. У нас не дата. Фамилия и отчество? Сидоров Андрей Андреевич. Скажите, а вы не хотите составить мне компанию? Деньги. Скажите, а на Ниагару мы поедем? Деньги. Поздравляю вас. Место рождения ваше? Город Матищи, улица Лейна, 53. Деньги. Когда они за паспортами явятся, мы уже бронзой покроемся. В Мексике сейчас 42, как в тыке. find him, they threatened us. They broke all of the windows in our apartment. Lena got hurt. When I went to Russian police, they thought that I was involved. They started interrogating me. They searched my apartment more than once. Then I started having nightmares every night. I had a Mexican visa. We were planning family trip to Acapulco, so here we are. Wow. I understand when a parent worries about their child. I have... I have a friend who uh, has a child, and she was taken away from him. She was taken away from you? No, no, my friend. What happened? What happened? Uh, his wife kidnapped us. What happened? Guy did everything he could. He and the police he looked for his daughter for three years. They never found her. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if I came on too strong earlier. It was just that. When I saw your daughter, I didn't want anything to happen to her. I was thinking she could use better protection. If you don't care, I don't care. So, have you got the money? I 
told you I did. Show it to me. I will show it to you. If you will leave us alone and get us some sleep. Fine. Why'd you block the door? Here, give this to Lena. May I see your paper, sir? Sure. <clears throat> What's the purpose of your trip? Business or pleasure? Uh, a tile. Uh, what? A tile. I, I need to buy a tile for the kitchen. With coyotes. Coyote. Uh, co coyote. Coyotes? Coyotes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're looking for coyotes? Yeah. Go to the corner of Las Brisas and Arando and ask for a Fernando Lopez. Oh. Okay, is it cheap? It's cheap and good. Best town in Tijuana. Okay. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was just heading to the Lopez place. Ah, well, amigo, you're good to go then. Let him through! Thank you. Sorry, are you Fernando Lopez? Ah, uh, si, sí, senor. Yeah. Andre, what can I help I, you with? Uh, you see, I need this uh, tile, 500, with the coyote. I don't want, uh, I don't have so many. If you have patience and wait a little. But how long I have to wait? Day, two? Tomorrow, I will have the rest, maybe. It's that coyote I'm not so sure about, senor. Coyote? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. See, si. somebody told me you need the help of a coyote to get you to the States. You are Russian, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yesterday, this one coyote, he got this Russian lady and her kid across the border. No problem. Oh, I get it. Coyote is the guy who helped 
people get visas, right? Okay, and uh, they can go to the United States. Uh, and you're a coyote. Oh, no, senor. Senor Larry, he is the coyote. He can help you with your visa problems. How much it will cost? It depends. You have to talk to him about that. Where is he? I will give his address to his ranch. He only lives about 40 miles from here. Hmm. Don't shoot. Fernando sent me. And who are you? Uh, my name is Somo. Are you Coyote? What do you want? Fernando told me that you can help. Fernando told you that, huh? Yes. If you want to talk, get in the car. you this just once. Who are you and why do you want to cross the border? I see you've got California plates. What's that about? I'm looking American visas for my kids. They're still in Russia mm -hmm. and uh, they haven't been ab able to, to get any. So you're Russian? Yeah. Look, I don't make visas. I just get people across the border. Sometimes in a trunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Um, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, probably. We get the hell out of here and stop wasting my time. What's up? What's all screaming about? I don't want to sit locked up in my room the whole day. Well, I didn't lock you up. You locked yourself in, remember? Besides, it's time to go. I don't want to go with you. I will go back to the town by myself. Forty miles in the desert on foot? I'll manage. You might, but she won't. It's none of your business, okay? If you won't let us go, I will call the police. The police? I think you forget you're in this country illegally, but if it makes you feel better, give them a call. Go ahead, call him. But I have a visa, okay? You had a visa. Fernando said it expired a long time ago. Let's go. But I was looking for my husband, by the way. I have a reason. Well, that changes everything. I'm sure the Mexican police have no quite understanding. And you're not going to kill us, are you? No, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to get across the border. End of story. Lena. Lena. But promise me something. What? Don't turn her against me. What are you talking Just about? Just promise me. Okay, I promise. All righty then. Let's go. Going on a trip. Such a big girl. Here we go. Mom, what's in? Lena?
Larry, I forgot to ask you, how much do you charge? We'll talk when I get back. Who is this dad? I don't know, son. With you, everything is in order. Я полчаса назад был на ранчо и слышал, кто-то кричал. Я бывший следователь, я могу помочь. Окей, мы должны идти. Пока. Гаддам Россия. Окей, что вы говорили о том? I didn't say anything. What did he say? He said that he's going to rescue us, that he's an undercover cop. Is that so? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just clearing our way. He didn't say that. He just said that... that he, he asked me what city I was from. I told you I can tell when people are lying and you are lying. I hate it when people lie. I just hate it. Here we go. No, Victor, he, he doesn't actually work for us, so, um, right, I understand. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sure. Just how I want to spend my day off. Hello. Listen, I just, I just got kind of a disturbing phone call from Victor. Remember a Russian roulette? He, he hasn't heard from Somov, have you? No, I told you the last time I talked to him, actually, I tried to get a hold of him when his service was out. You got any ideas? Well, I got some buddies down at the uh, Border Patrol. Maybe they can uh, talk to some people at the Tijuana Police Department. Sounds like a good idea. Have you had dinner yet? No, I'm starving. I was just about to grab a bite. Mark, where are you? I'm over at the Farmer's Market over on Northwest uh, parking lot. Turn around. No, turn all the way around. Look over here. Who are you talking Tur to? <laughs> Your evil twin. Get in the car. <laughs>
I would like to advise you to double check your incoming mail, tighten your security, until we have this suspect arrested. Mr. March, of course we'll follow your advice, but what makes you think that Storges Pharmaceuticals will be the next target? Did you receive a tip? I was given a sign. A sign? You mean like a sign from God? You can think like that if you want to. I did not get a phone call from heaven. I did not, but in my work, my research, and my guidance, gave me this newspaper article. And this puts you on the list after Relco of Mr. Broma's acts of terrorism. Stanley, contact the mailroom immediately. Absorb and digest what I've told you because it is the truth and call me when you get any information. Okay, get Benson in line. Yes. Get my car yes, downstairs sir. now. We need to get yes, some sir. more security while we're working on this now. Yes, sir. And double the people in the mail room and have them look through everything. Yes, sir. Not even postcards. I'm telling you, the mailroom is completely shut down. Well, I can see them getting paranoid after what happened to Relco. Yeah. You know, Bill sent me a box of chocolates. Do you think they'll be okay after they go through that little scanner thingy? Mm. I think chocolate's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Oh, let me give you these. Thanks. Thanks. I see it like this. Say we owe Ben on a little girl crying. Her mother's in the corner not paying attention. Uh, depression, it's a... Uh, suicidal moment, and then uh, all of a sudden these golden letters appear on the bottom of the screen. Polarium. Mother and daughter smile and they hug each other, and then the tagline, Polarium, from suicide to sue alive. Helen, what do you think? Great to me. Yes, Mr. Storges. You got me a new pen set. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Well, that right there, that's, that's a new set. Oh, well, maybe someone sent it for your birthday. But I've never seen this pen set before, sir. Oh. Hey. No, wait. Well... Yeah. Um, it's actually beautiful. But if you don't like it, I can remove it. Uh, no, no. I, I'm just a little paranoid, that's all. Okay. okay. I understand, sir. Sure. sure. Sir? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, oh, Helen, uh, hang on a second. I, I want you to type up my idea. Uh, just wait a minute. I knew it. How many casualties? How many casualties? Five dead, a dozen wounded. Try not to get too worked up, Captain. If you don't arrest this bastard today, I'm gonna bounce you back to a street beat for the rest of your fucking life. What did you bring me here for? What did you bring me to the fucking hospital? What am I doing in this place? This is all we could dig up in the archives on Liz McCloughsky. Oh, thanks, Clayton. Mm-hmm. Good job. Thank you. You want to send McMillan in on your way out? Oh, sure. Saw so March. We well, almost had a heart attack. Spent the rest of the day yelling at the hospital staff. <laughs> well, at least it's going to be quieter on here for a change. What planet are you from? Did you track down the father's address? Yeah, corner of Central and Third, but uh, hasn't been around for weeks. Neighbor says he has a ranch down in Tijuana. Anything else? A couple of domestic disturbance reports by McLaughlin's neighbors. I guess since his daughter's disappearance, he's been taking it pretty hard. Started off kind of nuts, then went completely out of control. What do you mean? Started firing his gun off his balcony in the middle of the night. They put him on Gleaminox. It's an antidepressant. Happy pills, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here's the kicker. Guess who makes Gleaminox? Relco. Bingo. Put some surveillance on this guy. I want to know the minute he gets back. 
Bring him in and find out what he knows. You really think he's our man, huh? Uh, it's a little early to tell, but it all adds up. Missing daughter, the Relco connection, God knows what the drug did to him, and then there's Brom. Yeah, Brom, the ultimate payback for the guy who stole your wife, huh? Contact the police in Tijuana, see if they got anything on them. Think the Mexican police be willing to cooperate? Can't hurt to try. Okay, I'm on it. Mac? Yeah? You heard anything from Soma? No, uh, I called his cell phone, but there's a message on there saying his service has been canceled. Poor guy's having a uh, hard time making ends meet. You know, the restaurant job's only part-time. At least he gets caviar and champagne on his lunch break. Come on, Lieutenant, there's a nurse, something around here eating do. I tell you what, we'll call up the Russian mafia and see if they can cook something up. I was being serious. Yeah, I know. He needs a break. Folks, this is it. Almost America. Here, let me carry her. No, I don't want you to touch her. Hey, Lena, look. See this? Watch. Pretty good, huh? Let's go. Okay, we're still in Mexico. And for about 25 yards out is a neutral zone. On the other side of that, we're in America. We get warmer and warmer. There should be a car waiting for us on the other side of that hill. I think that Lena is sick. Oh, oh, how you doing? She does have a high fever. I told you, you should have left it with me at the ranch. Stop it, I don't want to listen to you. I'm not listening to what made her sick. I said enough already. All right. Here we go. Okay, Rita. Step only on the patches of grass, and that way they won't see our tracks. This is a neutral zone. 25 yards, and we're in America. We're almost in America. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Okay, take her. Take her. What's up? And walk ahead. I have to go back. Why? I, I have to cover the tracks you left. Just go straight ahead, straight ahead, but only walk in the patches of grass, okay? So where is the car? Well, it's supposed to be right over there near that Joshua tree. What happened? Are we late? Nope. So where is the car? Maybe you told them the wrong place to meet us? No. I think something might have happened to Max.
So what do we do now? Walk? 20 miles in the desert? Your daughter will never make it. Okay. Then I'll walk by myself. And you call yourself a coyote? What are you charging for? If you go alone, you'll definitely get caught. Why would they stop me? We've already crossed the border. You don't think they're going to ask for documents of woman and child walking on foot in the Mexican-American border? Okay, so what do you suggest? I suggest we stick to the plan. We wait for Max. What if he doesn't show up? What if he got caught? Well, then we have to go back to the ranch. Oh, no, no. I'm not going back there. I would rather prefer to stay here. All right. If we get caught, though, we'll say Lena is my child. I'm an American citizen. At least then we'll have a chance. Great plan. I go to jail and Lena stays with you, yeah? Okay, we'll stick with your plan. You'll go to jail. Lena will go live with perfect strangers. At least you know me, lady. I would prefer her to stay with strangers than be brought up with a psych like you. I can attend to argue with you. Hey, Lena, you want some water? Yeah. Can I find the uh, gasoline? No gasoline, King. No? In the rancho, the gringo. Yeah. Over there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hot. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Something must happen to Max. He would have been here by now. We gotta go back. I'm not going anywhere. America is a civilized country. They will understand if I explain what happened. You don't get it, do you? You are a criminal. You cross the border illegally. You want that spells? Jail. Now we gotta go. The border patrol be snooping around in about 15 minutes. I'm not going anywhere. I know. Run! Come on. Hand me the kid. Take her, take her, take her, take her, take her, take her, okay. Regla eso, No importa. Yo sé cómo encontrar este gringo coyote. Vamos a hablar con Fernando. Your sweet life is over, coyote! Do you hear me? Over! He thinks he got away. Pero nadie se escapa de Morales. Él no sabe con quién está jugando, jefe. When we find him, le voy a romper su pinche pescuezo. Ni lo pienso dos veces. Eso es seguro.
I'm going to put her to bed. Why don't you guys sleep in my bed tonight? I'll be in the barn if you need me. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to talk to him. How's she doing? Is she asleep? Yeah, yes, she is. What's up? I feel awful. I think I, I made a horrible mistake. I, I didn't know that it would all turn out like that. I didn't want to go to America anymore. I just want to go back home. Wow. I thought you said it wasn't safe. Yeah, I know. I know, but I've got a family back over there. I shouldn't have come, you know, I, I didn't even come close to finding my husband. I thought I could make it by my own, start fresh in America, but all of that is about fate. But you can't talk if it's fate. I'm, I'm so tired of all of that. I guess, I guess I just want you to take me back to the airport. Certainly, let me call you a limo. I mean, it's the middle of the night. But you know, I was crazy to run away. I, I, I want to go home, please. You know, I hate this shit. What? Well, the way some women just act on a whim, when things don't turn out just the way they want, you guys blame it on fate. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you don't take responsibility for when things turn out bad. This isn't fate. This is bullshit. Mm. If this is fate, why involve your kid? Why chase after your husband? Your kid's got nothing to do with that. Your kid is sick, she's running a fever, and you want to take her to an airport. What's wrong with you? You have a child, don't you? I had a child, Liz. I lost her when she was three years old. My wife's fate, Brom, he put that child through hell. He made her smoke, fed her beer, and those were the sweet, tender moments. I'm so sorry to Yeah, hear my you. wife might have got herself a boyfriend, but she lost us a child. When I think of my daughter's fate, I want to take those people responsible and blow their brains out. I know they think they'll never see me again, believe me. I just wanted to check on Lena. No, it's not good. Sit down. Right. Sit down. You're going I promise. Anywhere. I didn't Sit want down. to. Shut up. You're not going anywhere. Give me a hand. Larry. Behind you. Larry, but I swear, I, I, I won't say to anybody. Please don't hurt her. Please don't hurt her. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to hurt Lena. I'm just going to get her some medicine. Just in case. You can trust me. Mm -hmm. Even if I can't trust you. You can get it here. Я сниму пластырь, только давайте сразу договоримся, никаких криков. Я уже сказал, я хочу вам помочь. Договорились? Спасибо. Вы видели, он меня связал. Каким образом здесь учителись? Вы что, все время за нами ездили? 
Но это долгий рассказ. Я слышал, ваша дочка заболела. Да, у нее жар. Я невольно подслушал, подслушал ваш разговор. Этот Ларри поехал за лекарствами для вашей дочки. Я думаю, может быть, он не такой уж злодей. Слушайте, мне плевать, что вы думаете. Злодей, не злодей. Мне надо скорее отсюда с Леной выбраться. Да помогите же! Там снаружи замок. Да я знаю, что замок, но я не знаю, найдите какой-нибудь топор, лопату, взломаем. Слушайте, ну что вы стоите? Послушайте, даже если мы откроем дверь, как мы доберемся до города? Как, как? На вашей машине? Да нет у меня машины. Как-то у вас нет машины. Ну так вот, когда на дороге мы расстались, я решил за вами поехать, бензин кончится. Ну, кончится бензин. Найдем бензин и поедем. В чем проблема? Да нет, ну бензин, может, мы и найдем, а машину мы не найдем, потому что я, я оставил ее и кругами ходил по пустыне. И все, я заблудился. И что же делать? Вот я и говорю, надо подумать. А, слушайте, а у вас есть пистолет? Нет. Возьмите хоть это, не знаю. Мало ли. Senor Morales, I'm pretty sure this is our coyote. I recognize the camioneta. For you? How old? I should say. Let her drink in the morning, and then in the evening, give him this one. And let she chew it all day long, this one. Yeah. And How old is your daughter? Six. Hey. hey. What's the name of your daughter? tell you. I was a detective in Moscow. Never a dull moment. Something was happening all the time. Even the day before coming to the States, I ended up catching one of Russia's most wanted criminals. He shot me on the shoulder. I just kept chasing him all the way to the roof. There we were, both dangling from the roof, with no idea who'd be the first to take the fall. Yeah, I sure had some interesting times. Only my son was always worried. You know, since I was a kid, I fantasized about coming oh, to America. Taxi. Always thought I'd be a big success. And look what happened here. I ended up working in a Russian restaurant. Я слышал, что вас сам Буш вызывал по поводу русской мафии. Нет? Мой муж со мной даже не попрощался. Сбежал секретарь. Ни записки, ничего. Оставил в конверте пять тысяч. 
просто деньги, даже не слово. Сколько можно стучать? Нет, не женщина. А это уж что подвернется? Рит, ну не молчи. Я не знаю, где он. Он уехал. У нас есть. А, а шуба, а машина. Значит так, или возвращаете людям деньги, или все кончится очень плохо. Уходите. Скажи, ты любишь чай с медом? А с лимоном? Это же очень полезно, знаешь об этом? Решили сами забрать? Что значит сама? Ваш брат был здесь, сказал, что у вас высокая температура. Что? Ну, вы помните, как мы договаривались с вами? Да, э, я отвлекаю Ларри, чтобы вы проникли в дом. Только вы, пожалуйста, поосторожнее его пистолет. Princess. Time to take your medicine. Не хочу, где моя мама? Мама? Mom's asleep. Here, this will make you feel better. Go. Do you like her? This is Rainbow Bright. She has magical powers. See watch. Uh, give me a kiss. Kiss you. Watch this. Woo, give me a kiss. I give her some medicine. I think it'll help. It's going inside. She was asking for you. Mm. Sorry. It's gonna hurt. Ouch. Ooh. Sorry, babe. Here we go. You think that just because your brother, he worked for customs, we're not gonna touch you? You better think again. It's time for you to pay. Trust me, you don't want to know what happens to you if you don't. No tengo dinero para pagarle, señor. I have no money. Business is down. Oh, business is down, you say, huh? What about your other business? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. No sé de qué hablan. Este cabrón. Él crees que yo soy un pendejo. <laughs> what do you think? I'm stupid? You are the pendejo because I know everything about your other business with the gringo coyote. I tell you this, your friend, he's going to go down. The question is, are you willing to go down with him? Huh? I got a phone call from the LAPD. They too want him, but before I turn him over to those damn gringos, I want my piece. I owe him one. You better tell me. Señor Morales, yo no sé de qué hablan. No, I really, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, 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 okay. You know Juan, don't you? Si. Sí. Ah, pues, okay. Now, he told me that you work for a gringo coyote and that you know where he lives. Why, well, he's a liar, es un mentiroso. Si, sí, hombre, he may be a liar, but he's not stupid. Are you not? I'm going to count to three. Uno, dos. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll tell you where he lives, but yet I think of that. Uh, you are very smart after all. You're no pendejo, come on. Well, the smart thing to do is to leave Lena here with me 
And when this thing blows over, we'll get you guys back together. What are you talking about, Bart? But nothing. I've got the house, you don't. I've got the money, you don't. Your life's in danger, mine isn't. You don't get it. You're a complete stranger to her. She used to me, right? She's my daughter, and I'm not giving her up. You understand? I understand. What'd she say? She says that she wants to feed the, the doll. Well, the doll's probably hungry. How about Larry makes us something to eat, huh? Come on, Mom. I'll make us dinner. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. У него есть пистолет, и он не хочет нас отпускать. Не хочет? Не хочет. Вон он, видишь? Ты ему понравилась, да? Нет. Нет, не из-за этого. Поэтому? Просто он хочет быть твоим папой. Он хочет быть моим папой? Зачем? Не знаю. Скучает, наверное, по своей дочке. У него есть дочка? Не знаю. Была. Бедный. Я тебе сейчас что-то скажу, только ты, пожалуйста, не пугайся. Будь умничкой, хорошо? Тут есть один дядя, и он хочет нам помочь. Только ты, пожалуйста, не пугайся. Будь умничкой, ладно? Какой дядя? Где он? She doesn't speak any English. I'm just explaining to her why she should stay with you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Doesn't sound to me like you're explaining what she's saying. You don't speak any Russian. Why do you know? I don't have to speak Russian. I just have to look at her face. Kids don't lie. Are you looking for me? Uh, Drop the gun if you don't want to lose your daughter. Drop the gun! What are you doing? You're going to get out of here! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! What are you trying to do? I've got the key. Get out of the car! It doesn't have to end like this. I meant what I said when I offered to help you. Open the door. I don't want your help. I just want to go home. But you can't. I've got the gun. And if you don't open the door, I'm gonna start shooting. What they? Please, don't shoot. Child's in there. Saca la niña del carro. Yes, sir. Oh, this man is not a killer. I'm Russian policeman. Oh, great. First I got the LAPD giving me orders. Now I gotta listen to a damn Russian police! What's going on today? Why is everybody trying to boss me around? Don't say happy. What happened to you? Don't worry about me. Where's Morate? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be unhappy. Rita, come here. Rita, I have lots of money. Don't talk. Don't talk. I was saving it for my daughter. In the barn, go through the door. Two steps. Take a left. Two more steps. Under the floorboards. A lot of money. Oh, I need I need help. Pepe, give us a second, Ayos. Be 
a los rusios para los rusios. Este cabrón trabaja con el APD y es el asunto de ellos. Vámonos. Подождите, подождите. Не открывайте. Вы слышали, в Лос-Анджелесе в таких пакетах посылали взрывчатку? Пожалуйста, я вас прошу. How do you know my name? From Somers and McMillan. I'm their boss. Oh, so you are March? Yes. I heard a lot about you. And that I'm a complete nut job. I heard a lot of good things. Yeah, Pat. Did they tell you who found Broma? Broma? The guy who was blowing up the pharmaceutical companies? No, they didn't have a chance. So, who found him? In that job. Really? C'est moi. How? The guy's name is Miguel Sanchez. He's a brilliant biochemist, and he created what he thought was a breakthrough drug. But it was rejected by all the major companies. And I had a feeling. I saw cross-referenced the files of Relco with those of Sturgis. Sanchez was rejected by both. How about Brom? You mean Broma. It turns out Miguel Sanchez had a twisted sense of humor. Broma means joke in Spanish. So, Somers was just wasting his time looking for Brom. Yeah, it was one of our leads. This one turned out to be a dead end. It happens. By the way, this is for you. A certificate of honor. And I wanted to give it to you myself. Why are you doing this? Because they told me all about the Russian roulette. And I've never been invited. <laughs> well, consider it as an invitation. Consider it accepted. It's good to see you. You feeling better? Yeah. Okay, I'll check in with you later. Congratulations. Andre, March told us he wants to use you more often. I think he likes you. Really? How's the <laughs> shoulder? That's okay. Strange thing. I keep having it. First it was dislocated, now it gets shot. <laughs> I'm ready to trade it in for a new model. I'll introduce you to a doctor right now. You'll like him, he's a Russian. Marsh told me that he found the bomber. Yeah, Bromer the Joker. It seems to me that the joke is on Larry. They put him in jail for nothing. What do you mean nothing? He was running people across the border. He held you all at gunpoint. What about Rita and Lena? They went back to Russia. Hey, some off. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Just talked to the doctor. He says you're gonna be all right. How How's Marv? Oh, he's doing great. It's just like being married again. Uh, he sleeps on my side of the bed, growls when I go to grab a beer, and he nags when I come home late from work. What are those for? Ah, for a toast. I know it's against hospital regulations, but... <clears throat> We're officially off duty. Yes. What kind of toast? It's a small one, but you're gonna like it. Really? Yes, believe you me. If I get any on the bed, just suck on the sheets. All right, fellas. To your granddaughter. What? Yep. Your son called. His wife had a little girl, 2.2 kilos. What's the matter? Some office isn't 2.2 kilos good? Uh, it's perfect, Roy. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> ah, mazel tov. 
Nostrovia. That sounds like it's Russian. Had a boy. Take some of the paint away, huh? Something. <laughs> it's fun with the Perkadan, too. Isn't it? Чудо мое, Чумазе. На что ты нос повесила? Мам, а мы поедем к дяде Ларе? Нет. Это далеко. Он мне обещал. Обещал? Когда? Когда я болела. Глупенькая. Как же ты поняла, ведь он ни слова по-русски. Он меня шепнул. Samovar. This is nice. Thank you. You got a minute? Sure. Okay, go ahead. He's funny, isn't he? I see in visions and in pictures. And I saw you at the police academy. I've never been there, sir. Well, I saw you. I saw how you trained. I saw you get a diploma. I saw you get your badge, and I saw you get your gun. Really? Really. Well, I think it's a little too late for me. Too late for what? To learn? When does this training start? It just started. Welcome to where you belong. Go get your locker. 